the third and final section of each problem on this exam is calculating press impressions. In order to calculate press impressions, we need to know a couple of things. One, how many sheets are we printing? Two, how many sides of the sheet are printing? How many impressions per hour can our press run? How many hours will our job be on press? And how much will it cost? To start, question 23 asks, how many sheets of paper are required for this job? Now you could recalculate this, you could do the option one, option two method. However, we've already calculated this in question number two, so you can just pull the answer for that and type it down here. We are purchasing 125,000 sheets of 19 by 25, 100 pound cover stock. So the correct answer is 125,000 sheets. Question number 24 asks, how many sides of the sheet are being printed? We're printing one side of the sheet because the instructions say we're printing 4 slash 0. That's 4 over 0 or CMYK over no ink on the back of the sheet. If it was 4 over 1, the answer would be two sides. The answer for question 24 can only ever be one side or two sides. It doesn't matter how many inks you're printing on each side of the sheet. It's are we printing the front or are we printing the back or are we printing both? Question 25 then asks, well, knowing how many sheets we need, 125,000, and knowing that one side of the sheet prints, how many press impressions are required? And a press impression defined by our lecture is every time a sheet of paper has to go all the way through the press, it's considered an impression. We're printing 125,000 sheets. They each must go through the press one time. So there's one pass through press, or we're thinking of it as one side is being printed for a total of 125,000 impressions. If both sides were printing, the sheet would have to go through the press twice, so it would be 250,000 impressions. Now that we know the total number of impressions, we can calculate the total number of hours a job will be on press. 125,000 impressions divided by 11,000 impressions per hour means this job will be on press for 11.36 hours. If this value comes out to something that has more than two decimal places, you will always round the number of hours on press to two decimals. 11,000 impressions per hour is variable. I pull that answer from the problem description. Different presses run at different speeds, so you need to make sure that you change that value when you write it down for your final exam. And last but not least, once we know the total number of hours something will be on press, we can multiply that by the BHR, or the budgeted hourly rate for the press, to get a total cost for the press impressions portion of the job. We've already decided that this job will be on press for 11.36 hours, and per the description for the problem, the hourly rate or the BHR for the press is $347. 11.36 hours times $347 per hour means this will cost us $3,941.92 to run on the press. Last but not least, since this is called putting it all together, we are going to combine all of the values that we've already calculated to get a total run cost for this job. Paper was priced at $20,324.52. Ink was priced at $24,420 even. And press impressions were priced at $3,941.92. When you add all of those values together, the total cost for problem number one for the run length of the job on the printing press is $48,686.44. If you are able to get or understand how to calculate questions one through 28, Please move on to the next video to calculate the answer for problem number two or the green problem on your putting it all together worksheet.